I, I've been realizing recently that uh, I grew up, you know, two inches away from the television mm-hmm. and watching Carol O'Connor mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. in his living room. Yeah, uh, on on All in the Family, and it, like that was an actor. I knew his name when I was seven yeah, or yeah. eight, mm-hmm. or, or at least I knew his character's name. Mm-hmm. And I, more than anything, I just I, I was familiar with his energy all my life, you know. Mm-hmm. And uh, uh, and uh, long before I knew who De Niro or Pacino were or Brando or the Beatles or anything, mm-hmm. he, he was. Kind of like that guy he had this kind of like a. Uh, if you don't mind, Tom, I, yeah. I really want to give this a try. This is Carol O'Connor yeah. reading David Patrick Kelly's part in The Warriors. <laughs> That's the guy who went, Warriors, mm-hmm. come out to play. Yeah, that yeah. guy. Okay. This is when they go into the candy shop, and 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 that guy David Patrick Kelly has just gotten the you know the word that you know they're closing in on the Warriors. He's yeah. really excited. Yeah. He starts throwing packs of M and M's around to the other gang members, and then uh, the, the one guy's like, "Hey, w- hey, man, this is we're gonna get in trouble." And and then he this is this is Carol O'Connor replying to that coward. Okay. He's, no sweat. They're looking for the warriors. Remember, we could do some looking too, or to make you feel better. That's my uh, Archie Bunker impression. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, and uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So that's what I'm talking about when I talk about all this like acting and yeah. stuff. Like that's all it really kind of comes down to in my mind. Is is mixing and matching all the voices I've heard and all the attitudes I've heard yeah. and, and felt too. Like, mm-hmm. yeah, I get, I get, I get where that guy's coming from. Yeah, yeah, and it's like you think about the amount of work Carol O'Connor accomplished in a chair. Like he was pulling that thing off. Like there was no physicality to so much of it. Oh. It was a guy just doing it with with his face. They should make a, a statue. Out of, and I put him right there, like next to the the Lincoln Memorial, of the chair, the Archie Bunker in his chair, uh-huh. next to Lincoln in his chair. How does it sound out there? Mike says right. good. It seems like every time I, I take my foot up off this wire, it, it alters the the uh, the um, you know. Mm-hmm. Anyway, <laughs> don't so- worry. I'm going to rip into these guys so badly. <laughs> I mean, this guy's worked with. This guy's worked with Scorsese and (laughs) others. And now I got him stepping on a wire. Oh, I'm getting the belt out after this. It's like a volume pedal here. Yeah. Mike's going to, Mike's going (laughs) to do his, uh, Harvey Keitel thing. And uh, Alice doesn't live here anymore. Oh, he is on duty. look out duty. respect Mike's shark tooth. So respected. I want to do another impression for you. If that's yeah, right. yeah, please. I would love it. Uh, uh, this is Walken doing his impression of the Godfather. <laughs> okay. Um, if you come to me in friendship, that that scum of ruined your daughter would have uh, been suffering this very day. And if if an honest man like yourself should make enemies, they would come. They would become my enemies. And then they would fear you. That wasn't too good. No, that was good. That's you good. had it. That's awesome. <laughs> do you do or impression something you uh, you like doing? I like to. I, I like to do it. I mean, I, and I like to do walking. And, and if you don't mind, since we were talking yeah, about. Yeah. Uh, you were talking about First Blood before? Yeah, yeah. I mean, I see a connection between Carol Connor and Brian Dennehy. Like, Brian Dennehy in First Blood is, like, one of my favorite performances. Sure. And a, a performance that really had an impact on me. Mm-hmm. I went to see that movie when it came out. So I was 13. And it, and it was like, uh, he, he, when, he, when, he, <laughs> when he picks up Rambo on a, a hitchhiking. Yeah, yeah. And, and he's like, is this a... <laughs> Can I get something to eat around here? <laughs> and he's like, "There's a diner about thirty miles at this up the road. 
It's like, why are you pushing me? <laughs> and, and, and he's like, uh, 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 at this point, I, then he goes, what was that? <laughs> and it, it makes me think of the guy from Trust, who's Martin Donovan's father, who <laughs> says the same thing. He's like, what was that? What'd you say? And, and, and he's like, why are you pushing me? And he goes, uh, first of all, you don't ask the questions around here. Mm -hmm. I do. Okay? <laughs> <clears throat> and when you see something like that, are you just like, man, if only I could get to say a it, thing like that? Because that's like it, you it, and Pineapple Express is me, like me, that. For me, if, if acting comes down to being able to do that, mm -hmm. it, either that or uh -huh. what Shirley MacLaine does uh -huh. in terms of endearment when she's like, give my daughter the shot. Mm -hmm. You know, she, her daughter's dying of cancer yeah, yeah, yeah. and she's in pain and she comes out to the nurse's station mm -hmm. and they're, you know, no, 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 she's okay. No, she's not okay. And she's, no, don't keep, you keep telling me, I, I know what I'm talking about. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then explodes. Yeah. So and, it, and then at the end, she's like, thank you. <laughs> so it comes down to either you get to push people around or you get pushed around and then you stand up for yourself yeah, and then you finally stand up for yourself after getting pushed around and that's what <clears throat> life is you know i think that's what m moves people along in mm -hmm. life mm -hmm. are those moments where that, that triggered those kinds of uh reactions you know like you know, you, you know, most people can't believe that they have it in them to to have those moments. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So, <clears throat> you do a Martin Scorsese impression. I I do kind of try. You know, ha, you know, I, I I have a go at it. You know, sometimes. What if Martin Scorsese was in The Godfather? How would that go? Well, I, I would <laughs> like to do this. I, I, I just want to get this walking at him. Yeah, I, yeah. I really want to get it out of me because people always accuse me of doing it and, and I, would, I just want to throw it in your faces, all right? Everyone that says, you're just doing walking. You, he's, you, I'm going to vomit him all over you. <laughs> it's good. And this is first, this is Christopher, Christopher Walken as uh, uh, Richard Krenner's character in First Blood. Troutman, and I'm gonna do Rambo as played by Brando. Okay, okay. so like, uh, it's good to hear your voice, Johnny. It's been a long time. Look, John, you've done some damage here. They won't, they don't want any more trouble. That's why I've come. I want to come in there and fly you to hell out. Just you and me. We'll work this thing out together is that fair enough where did you come from sir brag i tried to get in, in touch with you but the guys in brag never knew where to find you you know i haven't been spending much time there lately they've they've got me down in dc i'm shining a seat with my ass i wish i was back in brag now We'll, we'll talk about that when you come in. I can't do that, sir. Look, John, we can't have you running around out there killing friendly civilians. There are no friendly civilians. But I'm your friend, Johnny. I was there when with you knee-deep in all that blood and guts. I covered your ass more than once. Seems like bawling you out of bailing out you out of troubles. Got to be a lifetime achievement for me. There wouldn't be no trouble except for that king shit cop. All, all he wanted was something to eat. He but the man kept pushing me, sir. Well, you did some pushing here on your own, John. They they the drew first blood, not me. Look, Johnny, let me come in and get you the hell out of there. They drew first blood. Rambo, you still reading me? Covey, leader of Raven, Rambo, acknowledge. That is, that's one of the best things I've ever heard. I can't, where'd that come from?